Dear friends, welcome to the IVT tutorial. My name is Rudolf Meiragans, and today we will learn to know the origin of the intermittent vacuum therapy. The intermittent vacuum therapy has its origin in space medicine. Why is it space technology? The absence of gravity leads to orthostatic complications and complications of the vagal receptor reflex. So we can say no gravity or zero gravity, no flow. Zero gravity, no flow, this situation needs a solution. And the solution is a lower body negative pressure device, the so-called LBNP. The lower body negative pressure device was developed by the German DLR and NASA. DLR means Deutsche Luft- und Raumfahrtgesellschaft in the meaning of German Association for Aerospace Technology and Aerospace Medicine. The project started already in 1962. The physiological principle was a permanent negative pressure in a range up to or down to 70 millibar minus, which was applied on the lower body of the cosmonauts. Here you see the astronaut Jack Luzma in the Skylab 3 project, or here the scientist astronaut Owen Garriott, also in the LVMPD, that was from July to September 1973. Such an LBNPD is also requested for sure for the ISS. It was also part of the Russian Mill project. There is plenty of medical research around the LBNPD, and that research was done at the German DLR and for sure at the NASA. The most important outcome of that research is permanent negative pressure down to minus 70 millibar. Permanent negative pressure leads to a capillary dilation. And via this, it prevents orthostatic complications. That was on in space technology. Now let's come from space to Earth. In October 2007, the DLR gave a lesson at the 4th European Congress of Medicine in Space and Extreme Environments. They talked about their goals, accomplishments and perspectives. They show in which projects the German were involved. And there we see the LVNPD, they're also involved in Pulse and Pneumogard, the Health Lab, the 3D eye tracking project, this uh, track, and the Cardio Lab. On that Congress in 2007, they also spoke about scientific accomplishments and spin-offs for healthcare. And here we come. One of the important spin-offs for improving health was the lower body negative pressure device project. The purpose was to provide a cardiovascular stimulation cardiovascular stimulation. The scientific developer, Dr. Weich, 
Dr. Dr. Weich from the VRR Aerospace Medicine Institute in Cologne. The space project's name is STS-90 EuroLab and the commercial partner in the development and research is the Weyerans Eiger AG in Europe. The commercial device is the vacuum mat and the application should be a treatment and the prophylaxis of peripheral circulation problems and the so-called cellulitis. The project by itself intended to apply permanent but also intermittent negative pressure. The physical principle is no more the permanent negative pressure only, but also alternating, alternating negative pressure. Negative pressure, positive pressure, negative pressure, positive pressure. The nomenclature of this new application is intermittent vacuum therapy or short IVD. Now you've learned where the IVT has its origin. And now you should be able to answer the following questions. What area of medicine does the IVT come from? What special physiological conditions have to be observed in manned space mission? What solution was developed to keep the flow of the cosmonauts, to keep the flow in the weightlessness? What is the name of the solution? Who was the technology leader? in developing the lower body negative pressure device, the LVMP, was it A, the American, US American, NASA, or was it B, the German DLR? Which company was the commercial partner of the DLR for the research and development project of the LVMP for the use in our beautiful planet Earth. What is the name of the commercial device? And what is the difference between the LBNP used in space and the vacuum net used on planet Earth? And the last question, what is the nomenclature of the new application? of the new procedure. Please answer this question now. If you are not sure about the answers, have a look to the introduction again. And then we will meet us here again soon and we'll have the second tutorial on the mode of action and we answer the question what is the new application what is the IV2 doing physiological device thank you very much for today hope you stay healthy see you soon